If you've been wanting to start a print on demand business, but you feel like the t-shirts and mugs niche is way too oversaturated, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you some unique print on demand products that you can sell and make thousands of dollars a month. Hey, welcome. I'm Cassie. Welcome to Passively Ever After. So when people talk about selling print on demand products, and when you think about selling print on demand products, you probably think of t-shirts, mugs, sweatshirts, things like that. But there are so many other products that you can sell through print on demand that will really make you stand out from the crowd. I've seen so many people in like Facebook groups for print on demand say that they have hundreds of listings and they still haven't made any sales or they've only made a couple of sales. The truth is it's really hard to stand out when there are hundreds of thousands of other products that are similar. You can go to any department store and buy a shirt or a mug. Yes, your design might be different um, in your shop or whatever, but for the most part, if somebody wants to buy one of those things, they can go just about anywhere and get one. So it's time to start thinking outside of the box and do something different. I always want to set you up for success with your business. So I have a bunch of other products that I'm going to share with you today that you can use for your print on demand business. One thing I want you to keep in mind as we go through all of these products is that you want to create a shop that has products in it that one particular kind of customer will want to buy or that has kind of a theme to it. So the customers will buy more than one thing at a time and they'll keep coming back to buy more things. I'll be showing you the options on Printify, which is the print on demand provider that I like to use, but there are other print providers as well that you can use for your print on demand shop. So for any of these products that we're gonna be talking about today, I recommend doing a little bit of research on what's popular with that particular item so that you know what to create so that you can create winning designs. For instance, if you wanted to sell a kitchen decor item, say like towels or something like that, you should go to online stores and in-person stores and just look around and see what the kind of trending items are that they're selling, what kind of like patterns and fonts and designs and things like that. You can also look on social media for those kind of things. So I'm gonna take you over to my computer because I wanna be able to actually show you some of these items so that you can see what I'm talking about and see how nice they look and kind of get your wheels turning on what you could do with these products. So I'm here on Printify. I'm gonna to go to the catalog and I'm gonna just skip over the t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts. So they have like swim trunks for guys. So they have different types of shoes here. So they have tennis shoes, uh, canvas boots, flip flops, quite a few different types of sneakers and then slippers, which is really cool. So I mean like you can make these for a certain type of theme. Uh, you could do these for like bride and groom, um, flip flops for the beach or whatever, funny little sayings on slippers. And then for the women, um, if you still wanted to do clothing, you could do skirts and dresses and that would be something different. But again, you know, a lot of these, like this hoodie dress, that's probably something that's overdone. But if you wanted to do some different types, um, robes, those would be great for like bridal parties and bachelorette parties. And then the swimwear for women. So they have different types of bikini tops and bottoms or the set or even a one piece. So that's an option too. If you have like a certain theme that you want for your store, you could do that on your swimwear. So I'm going to head over here to accessories then. I mean, obviously there's baby clothing that you could do as well and other things if you want to look through the clothing options, but I'm trying to kind of steer clear of the clothing. So there are phone cases. The cool thing about doing these through print on demand is that you can design 
for all different cases and you don't have to have the inventory on hand because think of all the different types of phones. So this gives you the option to design for different phones and not have to purchase all of these different cases. Then in the bags, um, you could do tote bags, duffel bags. By the way, I use this tote bag for one of my shops and it is really nice. You can print all over the whole thing. So that's really cool. It comes in different colors and different sizes. So it's really awesome. And then there are also lunch bags, backpacks. So you could find something that's like trendy for kids and make backpacks. This says pencil case, but you could do this as a makeup bag. And there are some other makeup bag options that I'll be showing you in a little bit, like this drawstring bag here, and then like laptop sleeve. And then here are some other um, ones that could be used as like a makeup bag. So for socks, you could make like funny designs or a certain theme that people are really into. And these would be really cute. You could put like something funny on the bottom of the sock or up here. Like, have you seen those socks that say, bring me a beer on the bottom or whatever? <laughs> So something, you know, think along those lines. And then underwear. Okay, so for the swimsuits and the underwear, you definitely want to not accept returns on these items if you choose to use those. But it could still be an option. Um, I actually don't recommend taking returns on your print-on-demand things anyway. You can make funny little things for like brides and grooms and things like that. You can do hats. So they have like some different styles of hats here and then they have beanies and a beanie with a pom-pom so you have a lot of different options of what you could do here and then like these baby blankets would make great gifts for baby showers or there's a diaper backpack here and changing pad cover all of these things would be really good if you're trying to get into the baby niche or the expecting mom niche and then there's pet food mats and then dog collars and leashes, pet bowls, pet tags, a pet bed, and little doggy clothes. So um, if you want to get into, you know, doggy accessories or whatever, you could fully build a store just off of this section right here. So in the kitchen section, we have um, towels and then coasters, aprons, table runner. They only offer this in a couple of sizes, so you wouldn't be able to offer a lot of different sizes, but the table runner would be good. Um, cutting boards, serving trays, ice buckets, like all these kind of things would be good for like housewarming gifts or for wedding gifts. I'm not going over every single one. Obviously, you can see there are lots of ones that... I'm just kind of skipping over because there are a lot here. <laughs> and then placemats. And then they have all these car accessories, which is really cool. So car seat covers, license plates, the floor mats. I mean, how cool. You could make like a whole set of all these things that go together and people would want to have all the matching accessories for their car. License plate frames bumper stickers, and then they have all these tech accessories, charging pads and AirPod holders and speakers. You can even design a watch band for Apple Watch. And then here, I'm skipping over the cups because, you know, we don't need more mugs. But you have some different um, keychains, these little purses for a cell phone, which those are really cool if you want to target people who are like in their 20s and going out to clubs and things like that. Those little purses like that come in really handy to not have to carry a big purse around. So then we have some more makeup bags here and then suitcases, which is cool. I'm always looking for fun suitcases and I don't always find what I want. And then there's luggage covers. so. You could make those to cover over a suitcase. You can do calendars. You can make a cute little jewelry box, which would be great for a lot of like gifting occasions. You can make different plush animals with shirts with your design on them. And there's even a necklace here. Although if you want to make jewelry, a good print-on-demand company for jewelry is Shine On. They allow you to like personalize things and things like that. So 
be sure to check them out if jewelry is the thing you want to do. And then you could do belts, scrunchies, scarves. Now, wall art is something that is a little bit overdone on Etsy, but I think there's still room for someone to sell in there if you're in the right niche. So, you know, they have these canvas gallery wraps, so you can do those or the wood ones and put your cool design on there. Some of them even have frames. You can do posters. Then they have all different types of ornaments if you want to Try to um, get in on that at Christmas time. There are a lot of ornaments that are for sale, but if you make something really nice and that applies to a certain type of person, you'll really be able to be successful with that. So this is really cool too. They have journals and notebooks. So, you know, I've shown you how to make some different things for KDP and one of the big things to sell on KDP is journals and notebooks because they're actually printed, but you can do the same thing here with your print-on-demand store if you don't want to deal with Amazon or if you want to be able to sell them like that on Etsy. So they have all different kinds of notebooks with different types of pages in there, journals, things like that. You can do magnets and stickers. They have storage boxes that you can do, pennants to hang on the wall. And these are in the home decor section, but you could actually even make these for like parties and stuff like that. Design them for different occasions. They have wall tapestries, balloons, window curtains, candles, these little banners to put outside of your house lamps. Isn't it just crazy amazing how many products there are? And it's so funny to me that, that people just only talk about selling t-shirts and mugs all the time. So they have bath mats. So you could do like the bathroom shower curtain and bath mat that go together, even towels that go together. They have this little hooded towel for kids and then different blankets and comforters and duvet covers. These little blankets like this, like throws to put on your so far, whatever, those make great gifts if you do something for like moms or grandmas or something like that for Mother's Day or any occasion. And then they have different pillows and pillowcases for like decoration type of things. So you can make some cute little designs of those. And then you can make like custom playing cards, custom puzzles, custom golf balls, Think Father's Day here, you guys. Hockey pucks, frisbees, ping pong balls. Then we have some different rugs here for decorating your house and yoga mats. And then in the seasonal part here, we have um, more those same ornaments that we already saw. But you can make cards and wrapping paper and stockings and Christmas tree skirts. I hope you guys see how cool this is like how many products you can actually do. So you don't have to just do t-shirts and you don't have to do sweatshirts and you don't have to do mugs. Think outside the box, start designing some other things so you can actually make sales and compete with the other people. With all the different options of print on demand products that I've just shown you, there is no reason to be selling the same old thing as everyone else. Go to Printify, Look through the options yourself and see what you see there that you could do something with and make amazing products for your shop. What products do they have that you could put a design on that would make the absolute perfect gift for someone that a person just couldn't resist buying for their friend or for their coworker? Or what funny sayings could you put on certain products to make funny little gifts and things that people just can't resist. If you're looking for other ways to make passive income, be sure to check out this video right here where I tell you nine different passive income streams that you can set up so you have multiple streams of income coming in every month.